Hello guys, welcome back. Um, sorry about the late video. I think I haven't been posting anything for a while. Um, so this video is going to be something different and I'm very curious to see your opinion. I made this design here not too long ago and the technique I was using is really simple and allows you to change the, for example, this weapon here could be changed very fast. If I were to go into the weapon art and just open the smart object, you'll see this black and white um, gun and then you can change it to something else. And with a quick save, you can basically go back to your um, uh, original, uh, where was it? Oh, this is something I want to show later. Yeah, here. So you would see how it would update the weapon and you can manipulate the details on this weapon, but it has got this really cool um, CRT monitor feel and I wanted to show you how I've done this. So this video was inspired by uh, one of my favorite YouTube channel called texturelabs.org uh, and Brady released a video about a technique that uses patterns to create the CRT sci-fi effect, which I use to create this uh, UI design. Uh, if you're interested in the video, because he's really great to break down how this effect actually works, uh, you can have a look. I'm going to post a link below, but this is the video I'm talking about. Texture Labs Analog Retro Futuristic Futuristic Monitor in Photoshop. Absolutely amazing video. And um, thanks for Brady for the inspiration. Um, so what happens here is really simple. All you need to do, you need to basically prepare yourself with some, uh, let's just, here we are, some patterns. So the size we use, 100 pixel by 100 pixel. And the way this built up is basically you'll have white with different opacities. These are representing the opacities of the white. So this is 70% white. This is just 20% white. Obviously, it's darker. And then 35% of white. So combining these things um, and use it as a pattern will help you to create that effect. You can create all sorts of different um, patterns, which I think I have done. Um, if I will open my patterns here, you'll see I have all sorts of pixelate. These are all 100 by 100 pixels. You can read it next to the, um, at the end of this label here. So there are like um, a bunch of experimentation on this. I experimented with a bit blurrier um, patterns or sharper patterns. This is a sharp one, but I also use blurred version of it, which is very simple. Once you've done this, you just add a Gaussian blur on the top and then um, you can play with that. Um, you can also rotate this pattern. It'll give you a different effect. But the idea behind it, once you have this 100 by 100 pixel pattern, you save it. And then you all you need to do is, um, let's see, um, I'm going back to the gun here. So all you need to do is, um, I'm just wondering what would be the best way to show this. Uh, maybe the best way to do this, it would be like starting from scratch in a way. Yeah, I think that's the best. So let's just uh, take this weapon here and just uh, duplicate it to a new layer. There we go. And then just add a black background to it. There we go. Um, give it a bit of space uh, like that. Yeah, let's just give a bit of space. There we go. So now that we have that, uh, we can start playing with this. So once this is uh, black and white, um, I'll um, open my smart object and make this as uh, black and white. So I'm just going to add a hue saturation, remove the saturation, and then we got black and white. Uh, yeah, save it, please. OK, got it. So now that we have this, all we have to do is basically, I like to work with smart objects. And the first thing I'm going to add to this is, uh, sorry, uh, level adjustments. Okay, I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. I'll come back later to manipulate it. This is how we're going to manipulate the level of um, the pixelate level of the design. Next thing we need to do is uh, add a filter effect, and that's pixelate and mosaic. Okay, so this is an important step because we have to decide what is the size we're going to have for the cells here. 
So I'm thinking let's do, okay, okay, let's do 50% for now. It's going to be quite, no, that's, no, that's, let's not do 50. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just going to stick to 25 for now. Let's do, yeah, 25, 25. Okay, got it. So once that's done, uh, we'll can, we can add basically the um, style effect pattern overlay effect to this design. And the idea here is basically that, um, can I just, uh, I want to go reset to default, so there we go. So add the pattern overlay, you'll have to have a hard mix uh, um, blend mode on and uh, I like to use not 100%, any, uh, like 99%, okay? It'll just give you a better, sharper look. So let me use the actual pattern we had earlier. Let's see, I think this one, this one was the one here. So we got this design here, and then the scale have to be the same as the mosaic. So because that one was 25, I'll set 25 here too. Okay, so now we have got this, and it doesn't really look very, very good, but we're going to change that. All right, so first of all, I'm just going to go back and just change it to 10% because we'll need that pattern overlay 10% and always snap to origin. So it will give you nice and sharp details there. Okay, so now here, if we go into levels, we can start uh, manipulating a little bit our design, uh, how much we want to reveal and just play around with the general um, uh, look of the design here. But what I like to do is basically uh, just kind of have, a, uh, um, I think we need a fill, don't we? Yeah, we need a fill, of course. Uh, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open my layer style and in the blending options, I'm just going to bring in the black a little bit somewhere around here. Yeah, like that. Good. Okay, so let me just see. Yeah, just something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, what I want to add here is basically put this in uh, in an extra folder. There we go. And then the folder will have some uh, drop shadows, a uh, different kind of uh, hues, basically. And I'm going to use uh, linear add. There we go. And i uh, going to use a bit si different size. 20% uh, is fine. And then we add a tiny bit different color. Change the, ang change the angle like that. Play with the size, the distance. And the other one as well. Change the distance a little bit. Um, go like that. Add one more, which is going to be a bit more like that again, like this. Yeah, kind of like that. There we go. Okay. Um. So the one thing I'm not happy with, um, if you if I get rid of this layer here, which I'm just using for testing, um. I still see the black so what we need to do and what I actually forgot to do it here so when you go back to your blending options and you change this um, bring in the black values here you have to make sure that the blend interior effect as group is also um, basically selected and then you will see that it's going to give you this really cool effect so it'll be see-through um, when you would save this out as a PNG and you would pass it on to um, a tech um, a UI engineer, then um, sorry, a tech artist, then they'll they'll use PNGs basically. If that's the method they'll they'll use. If not, then we'll have to find a different way. But that's what normally happens. So so this is good like that. But I'm not happy with the details here. And I think I uh, I used a lot smaller scale, like I don't know, like two. And um, going back to change the mosaic cell size as well to two, you'll come to a much better uh, look here and and then in here you can just basically start changing the level values like I want to bring in a bit okay let's let's just kind of like bring in the black a little bit and then like this and just kind of like having a bit of variation 
um, yeah this this feels good so let's continue with our shadows let's add another one and I'm gonna add a tiny bit different color like this uh, change the angle change the size uh, distance okay one thing that to 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 make sure to do and I forgot to do it there uh, check this checkbox out so basically layer knocks out drop shadow you'll have to make sure that these are not checked um, so these are not checked here that's great and um, what it does basically let me just give quickly demonstrate what that does um, on oops, another layer here so okay let me just put it out here there we go so let's say we'll create a shape um, wait a sec uh, whatever shape here like this pistol whatever okay so we got this here and um, I'll go into the drop shadow I was just using earlier and what would happen if I let's say I'm gonna make sure this is like 100% the distance I will set to zero so if I would remove the fill then you would have this cut out um, and that's what we don't want I want uh, just the glow so let's see Ooh, I'll change this a tiny bit but, but hey, what you have to do is just basically literally uncheck this checkbox here and then we will get rid of that knockout and it'll give you this blur uh, which is really awesome I think and uh, didn't know for a long time and that was I think another thing I learned from Brady so thanks for that <laughs> uh, the size you can change and then uh, whatever uh, uh, um, look you're trying to achieve you can achieve with that one so that's what it does and one more thing, we'll go back and start manipulating the color a little bit. So I'm just going to have a color overlay of uh, some greenish kind of color like that. I'm going to go for something saturated like that. This is cool. I like that. And then what I'm going to do, if I go back to level now and I start bring in the whites, you will see uh, how it comes in here. But it's not exactly white. It's more like this uh, green color. So what I want to do, I want to go back to effects and apply in a glow which will be white and which will be from the center and um, the range will be higher but the size is going to be smaller like that. Like that. Actually, I don't, yeah, like this. I just want to make, um, I create something sharp. Let me just try to, yeah, like that. But that's might be too sharp. Okay, let me see. Something like that. I just want a tiny bit there. Okay, and maybe opacity could be like somewhere here. Yeah, it has to be the center. Okay, let's change the mode to something like this. Okay, I have to play around with this a little bit until I achieve what I would like. No, I don't like that not that not that not that okay i'm just gonna keep this one for now and just have something like this and then go back to the levels and just kind of like bring him back the white like that something like that yeah yeah so i do have a bunch of different patterns we can try like uh, this one was a sharper one but a softer version would give you a different effect and for example for this I'm not happy with this inner shadow so I'm just gonna get rid of it for now anyway um, but we can we can go with different kind of uh, um, um, patterns we can we can create so as you can see it's it's really depend on your creativity what do you want to come up with uh, you can you can do all sorts of things all sorts of shapes and you could you could basically uh, change the angle of those shapes so it's it's really up to you what you what you what, what is the look you like to go for here and um, yeah that's pretty pretty good I'm gonna show you a couple of examples I made with this method uh, obviously you can play around with this like okay this is pretty interesting I think oops um, because at this point I started to kind of like thinking about like how would I achieve a monitor look so I did this monitor um, I think maybe not this one is the best uh, way to show it uh, maybe this one here yeah so what I was doing here is literally just had um, a monitor backdrop effect here and let me just try to get that 
here we are yeah yeah so this is just literally um, an actual overlay here I used and this as well just kind of like uh, found this on uh, Pexel and just use that uh, vivid light and just kind of like um, remove the mask out the sections I don't want to reveal so that's how I created that um, what I wanted to do uh, show you is the um, just don't find it at the moment because of this here yeah okay not this one I have another screen I think better oh yeah maybe this yeah okay so yeah this monitor here yeah I got it here monitor screen so the whole idea was uh, to to do the same method let me just turn on the black for testing screen so you'll see this is everything just white glows and stuff um, these are just normal shapes I used and uh, all I did here is just use the, the drop shadow with the knockout kind of turned off uh, if I would turn back on you would see it's there or if I would turn off the drop shadow which creates the actual blur and turn back on the field it's just basically a simple shape and instead of use, using Gaussian blur I just basically use a drop shadow which has got the knockout drop shadow layer um, turned off and just remove the field to zero and then there you go it's just right there you can move it away whatever position you think that it would be on the monitor so that's that's kind of the way I did the monitor let me turn this back and then once you save it it'll just basically uh, gives you these these uh, these edges there which has got the same patterns and mosaic effect on it and the levels so you could go to the levels and manipulate it you can change the size of the pattern from 5 to um, I don't know 20 and you will get a different result of course and then don't forget to change the mosaic as well to 20 and then you'll get this different look um, but obviously number pick uh, five uh, was much 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 better so this is what I did uh, with this design here and I was looking at different kind of uh, versions of it as well I did a design earlier for the Fallen Order and I was thinking that this would be interesting to see how would it look like and um, well this is what I came up with and I think it's pretty nice um, so you would have these effects uh, on the actual um, elements we still have got the, the the line work in the background the skills here the skill tree button and if you look at these elements here uh, let me just turn off the reflection of the screen so if you would look at the this one it's basically it's just the same this button here it's 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 not really styled or anything I just have my button there and as soon as um, I save it um, if I would let's say I don't know create something here and let's turn this to black and then I would just kind of like remove for example this section here and just kind of have it like this oops and then just uh, kind of um, yeah have something like this just wanted to see how that would look so you save it and then you'll have this effect already applied to it because it's within the smart object and the effects are applied to the smart object so that's why you'll have everything um, already done for you and exactly the same here uh, for these buttons here um, you would just let me see yeah I did have a couple of version for the character as well let's see I open my character smart object and I update it with this stormtrooper save it and it'll give you this stormtrooper you can also go in and and obviously by changing the the levels you can still manipulate it like let me see like I'm just gonna bring in these oh, interestingly I don't see any change that's weird I wonder why am I in the right layer is this the layer that's not the layer something is not right I'm on a completely different place where the hell I am okay where are you is this you it's not hmm uh, yeah 
ever so strange. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that was just a kind of like a blur effect. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's just the glow kind of stuff. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So that's why it didn't change. Cool. So if I go back now and change my level here, it should change the design. Yeah, it kind of like brings elements in, brings the dark values in. Uh, yeah, there you go. So you can you can play with this. I want to bring a little bit more white, make it stronger like that. Yeah, I think it's pretty interesting. There's a bunch of things you can do with it. I was looking at like these icons. These icons are very interesting as well. They use the same uh, method. So you'll open this and then you'll have not exactly white, but like kind of like uh, um, uh, yeah, 80% uh, 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 white here and um, and I applied some, some inner glows and stuff to create this this kind of variation within because the effect just works better that way and and then basically with with just changing the levels you can you can you can manipulate the look of uh so like you, make, you can make it sharper or uh, uh less glowy kind of stuff or you can go and bring in a bit more glow so there's a bunch of things you can explore here and uh and I think it's really, really, really cool. And limits are your imagination only. You can do all sorts of things. Like, for example, here I multiplied my uh, uh, a smart object. And, I mean, I created a copy. And I just used this as a blur. So this is just kind of like this blur. And I obviously changed the pattern size and then the mosaics on it. So it'll create this rougher version, which is just meant to, meant to work as a backdrop for my design. And just give this uh, more... Uh, a monitor kind of look which is pretty nice i think um so that was the video for today i'm planning to do some more stuff and hope you like this content if you do please don't forget to hit the like because it helps the visibility of the channel we just hit thousand subscribers wow only took me a year <laughs> um, that's fine that's okay i mean i do this anyway i i enjoy doing it and um um, yeah, it's just the way it is and uh, appreciate everybody who subscribed and liked the channel or um, or like this content and I'm really happy when you comment and you ask questions or share your your observations. That's always good to good to see. OK. Um, OK. All right. Thank you very much for watching and see you later. Bye bye.